Dear co-chairs, Professor Schwab, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this summit has almost come to an end. So I would like to thank, first and foremost, both of our co-chairs. Thank you for your vice leadership, and thank you for your, again, great and outstanding hospitality. And I would like to thank all of you, because you have been part of a truly unique community, a community of more than 900 people out of different 77 countries, all the different walks of life. And of course, a real multi-stakeholder community, business, politics, civil society, NGOs, academia, and the youth. And you have been so committed in all our different global agenda councils, more than 86, in order to shape industry, regional, and global agendas. And for the first time, you have been engaged and so passionate to be part of our global challenge initiatives. And we announced these nine global challenge initiatives to underpin our new institutional status, our new institutional approach. Because as an international organization for public-private cooperation, we are convinced that we can only deal with all the different challenges in a public-private mindset. And thanks to your insights, thanks to your knowledge, and thanks to your expertise, this summit was a place to be to capture contextual intelligence. So for sure, you're the biggest think tank in the world, and at the same time, an excellent platform for so many activities. And I could keep you now for an hour, but two come to my mind. First, in terms of discussions and think tank. We have had deep and needed discussions, the most pressing challenges, discussing the refugee issue and how to tackle human trafficking. And in terms of activities, you started excellent projects under the theme of the fourth industrial revolution. With our partners in the UAE, excellent entrepreneurs, we started a project of future of manufacturing. And both is an excellent segue to an incoming annual meeting in Davos next year. And thanks to your input, your insights, we could deliver what Professor Schwab coined is our theme for the next meeting in Davos, mastering the fourth industrial revolution. So thank you again for your input. Thank you again for your insights. And it's now my great honor and pleasure to invite our co-chairs for their closing remarks. And I would like to start with His Excellency Ali Majid Mansouri. He is the chairman of the Department of Economic Development in Abu Dhabi. Excellency, the floor is yours. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My team at my office has prepared for me a long speech that will take 30 minutes. But that I will put aside, and I'll do my speech in three minutes. It might take longer. We've had the three wonderful days. Uh, I'm really glad to be part of the summit. I've, uh, since I was a college student, I used to uh, follow up the World Economic Forum, some publications. Uh, and when I studied the economics and finance, sometimes we read about the publications. Today, I'm re really privileged that I'm part of the summit. Uh, a friend of mine has asked me once, you go and present and you listen to presentations what is the practicality about this? And I tell you, sometimes you hear an idea, and thus that idea becomes a reality. And then, if it is streamlined well, it becomes an action and it sees the light. Today, yesterday, and day before, we've heard and we've met 
with the great people, among them the minister here, the minister and Klaus, and some of you. We are very proud that the summit has been successful. I've heard this from Professor Klaus and others, and really we wanted to do that. We want to come out with the three days, two days of gathering with people, and remember that we had good discussion, grasp some ideas. These ideas might take some time. We might pass them to our children, to our colleagues at work, where they might take them and evolve them into an action decisions. We are proud, I'm looking forward to see you all next year when we open the Louvre Museum. But I'm also looking forward to see you on Davos. It will be cold, but I'll bring my jacket. And if I have time, we might go skiing. And uh, the ex-minister has promised me to take me in the chopper, maybe, if I have, we have time. So thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. I will see you at Davos. <laughs> Thank you, Ali Majid Al Mansouri. And now it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome the Minister of Economy of the United Arab Emirates, His Excellency Sultan Al Mansouri. The floor is yours. Well, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Philip, by the way, we know each other for some time. He used to be the Minister of Economy in Germany, right? I will not ask you the question which position you like more. Because you are certainly enjoying this one, right? Of course. Well, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Klaus, on behalf of the UAE government, I want to thank you and all of you, actually, be, who are being here with us uh, the last three days for your wonderful contribution to the summit on the agenda. This is the way I look at it. It is the operational room of the world. I wish I can keep you forever here because we can really manage the world in a, such a wonderful way. If you look around here, you see so many different nationalities, different backgrounds, different religions, but we are working together toward one agenda. And that is for a better world that we need to have. And there's no more critical time for having this kind of exchange of thoughts and ideas than the time we are in right now. There seem to be a lot of issues around the world, political, social, environmental, and many, many others. But of course, there are other issues which are much more urgent. We see the issue of the crisis that is happening in Syria, the refugees crisis. We see the challenges in the economy of the world, and all of us were very optimistic two and a half years back that we were coming out from this crisis. But there's definitely some challenges still lingering in a lot of the economies of the world. And without really finding a proper solution, uh, maybe some guidelines on where we go, we are destined to really affect all the other parts of the agenda. Without growth economy, positive growth in the economy, we're destined to have a lot of challenges, a lot of problems also in most of the issues that we are addressing in the 86 councils. But I am also optimistic, optimistic about the future. Today, I also managed to uh, attend the uh, session on the future of manufacturing. A wonderful team ran that uh, session. And it was a lot of specifics, because this is, I want to take it now from the dimension of global on how we in the UAE, UAE small country, are benefiting from something like that. The analysis of, of how the UE could move on with the diversity of the economy as we continue with that was very important. You know, the, the, the manufacturing and what is our position in that and where we're going with the change that is happening in the shifting of manufacturing and industries from one part of the world to another part of the world. Where are we out of this? So the UE is very keen, and especially me, because my background is also engineering and industrial engineering, I wanted to understand you know, what, is, what are the right steps to make sure that we are hopefully moving toward what we call the knowledge economy in combination with 
the innovation uh, strategy that we have initiated here in the UAE. It's not going to be the model of what we have seen in other parts of the world, uh, but we want to have and develop our own unique model. And that's why we need the brains that are assembled here today to advise us. And I have asked them also for the recommendation on how I can utilize that kind of uh, advice as we move on. On the innovation and, and the UAE, why it started the strategy on innovation? It's not because of us as UAE. We are very diverse and we're moving on and we'd like to you know, get the benefit of something like that. We want to make a change in the region. We want to, we want to prove to the rest of the region also here and we want to give a challenge to them. It's not the natural resources that is going to sustain your growth in the future. It's the people, it's the brains of the people that you have. It's how you built up your education. It's how you trust your people and your governments. This is what we are looking at right now. And this is what we want to create an example, a future positive example of the region. And the nucleus is the UAE. This is where we're starting. Once again, I thank you very much for being here with us, for your thoughts, for your ideas, and also for your contribution to the way the world is moving positively to a much more wonderful future for all of us. Davos is going to be the next address. But before I close, I want to thank a very special gentleman, Dr. Klaus, for your wonderful job and putting us together under this wonderful umbrella. I want to applaud you for that, and I do hope that all of you share me with that. Thank you very much. And we meet in Davos. Thank you. Hello, ISIS. <laughs> Feel free. So thank you very much, both to our co-chairs. I would like to say thank you again to our host, the United Arab Emirates government and the government of Abu Dhabi. And our special thanks goes to his Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Said Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates, ruler of Abu Dhabi. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, ruler of Dubai. And His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Said Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces. And allow me to say thank you to all the many helping hands the teams inside the forum and in cooperation with the World Economic Forum. Thank you under the leadership of my colleague Lee Howell, Jeremy Jungs, and Stefan Bergenthaler. Ladies and gentlemen, now officially, the Summit of the Global Agenda 2015 is closed. I would like to invite the chair and the co-chairs for the debrief, and I would like to invite all of you to our reception and dinner for welfare at 7 o'clock in the Maritina Terrasse. Thank you very much.